and the impact that he has made at both ends. Well, he's been proved on the offensive end, but the key for Duke is him on the defensive end. His 7-1 presence at the rim can be towering. Kept alive, and Duke with another opportunity. There's the lob to Williams. Beautifully done by Trevor Keels. Well, as soon as the rim opens up without Butler. Whirling for three. That's off the side rim. Griffin's got the rebound. He will push. Here comes Keels. Cross-court pass. Van Cara. Theo John at the rim. That's the big challenge for Leonard Hamilton. He has five starters that are injured and out of tonight's game, but they are doing their best to hang in there with Duke Gurley, and there is a throwdown for Matthew Cleveland. He has four, and also brought to you by CDW. Let's take a look at the starting five for Duke. A great start for Trevor Keels. Yeah, Trevor Keels doing a nice job staying aggressive, but this is so much balance on the Blue Devil team for Leonard Hamilton, and he's never seen anything like this. He's never experienced this. Most of these players, all of them got hurt in game. It wasn't uh, some conditioning issue. It was Roach locks one inside. Williams able to finish. I thought that was going out of bounds. Nate's Jones on for the first time, replacing Van Caro. And there's an and one opportunity on the drive. Cleveland right here playing in a ball screen. He knows it's drop coverage. He comes off the screen. Williams has to switch on to him. He doesn't. Heels entry pass, though, deflected by Wyatt Wilkes, creates the steal and creates an easy flush by Matthew Cleveland. Which can't connect after the shot fake created space. Fletcher back door, rejected by Williams. Another possession of zone by Florida State. Wendell Moore, a reverse. Well, I mean, he had the day off afterwards. He got some IVs, as you said. Numbers for Florida State. A block from behind by Theo John. In transition. Took it away from Cleveland. Back the other way, Roach. Leaves it outside for Baker for three. Yes! Sent from the field. Only down by one. But the Crazies getting into it after the Theo John block. What a drive. Laying it in is Jalen Worley. Terrific move by the freshman. They've got three steals. They've got a couple of tips and deflections. They've been able to run off their defense. This is the staple of how they play. Baker knocks down another triple. He's got two from behind the arc. Duke playing on top of the defense instead of playing inside out. Keels connects from 17 feet. And then you got Keels. A.J. Griffin, wide open Baker. He's got another three, his third triple here in the first half. And the long rebound ends up with Jalen Worley. Ill attack goes right around Baker with the reverse. Hey, Worley did a great job defensively, and then a terrific finish on the offensive end. Worley thought he was fouled. Theo John, an outlet. Wendell Moore, long bounce pass to Griffin. Wow! Oh. What a beautiful find in transition. The ball doesn't even hit the floor, but for the bounce pass, wow. Five seconds to go on the half. Cleveland, denied. Blocked by Griffin. And they are trying to get Ben Carroll isolated with the ball. Nice look. Throwing it down is John Butler, but what a pass by Jalen Worley. Really good job of staying tough on the defensive end. There's a turnover. Or with a takeaway. Throws it down. Plus the foul. The steal. He sizes it up. Out of a double team. They always run two at him. They skip one to Baker. He'll penetrate, lob it up, and tipped home by Williams. I think that was a pass that caught the rim, and Mark Williams did well. Roach picks up his dribble. Hands one inside to Ben Carroll. And he does all the work before the ball gets in there. The energy of Duke on the defensive end. Worley hits a three. Ben Carroll. The reverse. Plus the foul. 
you don't want Bancaro to see a free lane. And so he's late on the rotation, draws another foul. Wilkes lost it. Roach to Keels. The high school teammates combined for an end one. And Caro, the trailer, kicks it out to Keels. Down low, Ben Caro. Nice pass. And makes himself available, holds off the defender. Here comes Jalen Worley the other way. Worley turns it over. Wendell Moore, the hit ahead to Ben Caro. Lays it in. Went on to be a police officer in Camden, New Jersey for 29 years. And there is a chance for Enga as he will go to the free throw line to shoot the and one to Wake Forest before they survive. Griffin, the runner, wraps one around to Ben Caro. Yeah, Ben Caro's shot chart today is in the paint. Duke working deep into the shot clock. And Caro, an air ball, weak side, throwing it down is Williams. Heels back door to Moore. The reverse. Beautiful. Beautiful. No excuses for Leonard Hamilton's team. Heels lost it. Numbers the other way for Florida State. Cleveland takes it himself, scores, plus the foul went right around Jeremy Rowe. And they have experience. Miami's got three talented guards that'll be really tough to go against. And we don't know what North Carolina team's going to show up, right? If the, if the good North Carolina team shows up, that their backcourt can score and they defend. Slipping to the goal is Williams. It's rejected from behind, though. Worley gives it up. Cleveland swoops to the goal and finishes. What a play. And we're down to the last eight seconds. Only one home game remains here at Cameron Indoor Stadium for Mike Krzyzewski. And that is the 5th of March, the final matchup with North Carolina. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.